today's forest patrol route map. Uh, we need to head here first, then make our way over to there? Hmm. There's a lot of writing. Turning. The components are back in the core, and the hub is restored to its proper shape again. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Like any wound, it just needs time to heal. It'll probably just start turning again one day in the middle of the night when no one's looking. Really? I thought that with your special abilities, you could get it turning again right away. What? Huh? All of us are dying to see it. Not just how the domain looks when it's fixed, but also Idea. And her element. I want to see Idea using her magic powers too! I bet they're super awesome! Uh, what are you guys talking about? And how is Cleon on this, but Paimon isn't? They're referring to our mascot's true form. As I've said all along, there's much more to Idea than she gives herself credit for. She has a very special power. So, I think some of us have sensed that already. Did you notice right away, General? I only found out when I was chatting with Eula. So our General was the first to notice. It seems like she's more perceptive than she lets on. I'd say the same about you, Kaya. trying to hide anything from you, I, I promise. It's just... for people who stumble upon this place by accident, I think my current form is more approachable than my true one. I... I don't want people to get scared when they see me. What? What is it? And whatever it is, how the heck does everyone know about it? Uh, well, for one thing, I sensed elemental energy in the residence here. But none of them have visions. Then my mind started to wander as I was reading a storybook. And suddenly, I had a thought. Since Hydro Eidolans can change into any form, why not human form? You hit the nail on the head. Alright, in that case, please allow me to introduce myself once more. I am an Oceanid who was exiled here when the former Hydro Archon passed away. My name is Adia. Wow, Adia! You're so pretty! <laughs> now that I'm in my true form, I suddenly feel a little embarrassed talking to you all. You look stunning. You should be flaunting this look at every opportunity. So does this mean that all the people we met in here are actually... I'm guessing that the human counterparts to these Hydro Alter Egos are long gone. That's right. When they wanted to leave, I took them to the edge of the desert. The components are, in fact, gifts that they gave to me before they left. But I'm always curious about what brings people here. So I used the streaming projector to bring their wishes to life. The power to grant wishes, but only within the confines of the bottle. Exactly. It's a truly extraordinary light. I've just realized something. When the components fell from the core, it appeared as if they had returned to their respective owners. But actually... It was after the components landed where they did that their owners and the things associated with them arose around them to form the different zones. So now that the components have been retrieved, 
does that mean that all those things are gone? Don't worry. They'll be quite safe. As long as I remember them, they'll never disappear. However much we might criticize each other or get into scuffles, in this mirage, they will always be my friends. I had so much fun in the choo-choo car and hanging out with Mr. Director. I'll never forget them either. Me neither. I'll always remember my adventures in this fantasy land. <laughs> Very good. But it's probably time I set this wheel in motion. This one's all yours, Adia. Our magical mascot. the Shinro casket from the Domain's core? Ah, the Shinro casket. That sounds familiar. One second. Here! Is this it? Wow! A huge shell! It's the relic that Kokomi mentioned earlier! So this is where it's been hiding! It was once a ritual vessel, used for making offerings in the Moun Shrine. It's made from the remains of a yokai called the Shinkiro, and it can listen to the wishes of those who come to pray to build up Shinki, which gives it its power. Several centuries ago, the relic was lost when the last prefect of Yashiori died in battle. Its final resting place was unknown. The pearl that goes with it should be able to sense the casket's location. But when, unbeknownst to anyone at the time, the casket disappeared inside the core of the Valyria Mirage, the pearl's light died out. Huh? How come? Well, imagine it was a sound instead of light. If the room is too big, you can't hear anything from outside the door, can you? Get it now. The shell must have been having too much fun one day and got locked in the solitary confinement room. I understand now, too. The core has been wearing out recently. That's why you were able to follow the pearl all the way here. To get back to the story, without the offerings at the shrine, this vessel quickly loses its power. Yet countless people who have visited this domain brought their wishes with them and left a small piece of themselves behind along with their gifts. These have the same effect as the offerings at the shrine. Wow! I never knew this thing was so powerful! It is! Powerful enough to help you repair the Valyria Mirage with any luck. But... what do I do with it? It's simple. We just need to awaken it by telling it what we wish for. For example... My name is Sangonomiya Kokomi, the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island. And my wish... is to use my critical thinking and strategic planning skills to bring a little more joy into the lives of my fellow Watatsumi Islanders, as well as the lives of everyone I cherish. Itia, what 
do you wish for? Me? I... My wish is that all those who have sojourned to the Valurium Mirage in the past will achieve what they truly wish for. Not just in this domain, but out there, too. Even though I know full well that trying to build a railway in the outside world is just a pipe dream, and that Maimuna will probably just go back to being a scholar. And I know that Sosimos has a lot of improving to do as a playwright. It's going to be tough for him back in Fontaine. Chasing your dreams is hard work. Despite all of that, I still hope that somehow, someday, they will achieve their dreams. Everyone's praise and curious questions went to my head. I said so many things I'm so ashamed of, and I... I lost the courage to live on. Please don't say that. Yours was a noble wish. Yeah, and you weren't granting wishes for yourself. You did it for other people. I have friends like that too. Other people's hopes and dreams are what motivate them. They'll work tirelessly just to see them smile. If you ask me, that's one of the most noble things a person can aspire to. Please, no more praise. I, I'm really not comfortable with it. It makes me feel so ashamed. Someone like me doesn't deserve so many people's praise. It's like I'm dreaming. Well, at least the domain is fixed now, and all the components are back in place. What's the matter, Klee? I suddenly have loads and loads of more wishes! I want to ride the choo-choo car again and look down from up on top of the big wheel! Is there a way to get up on top of the wheel, Idea? There is a way, but there's only space for a very few people. That's okay! 
way, I can go up by myself. Um, but it'd be more fun with Miss Honorary Knight. Are we sure about this? It's so high. What happens if we fall off? Well, yeah, but Paimon's just worried for you. Don't worry, I'll be there to make sure no one falls off. I haven't been up there in a long time myself. <laughs> <laughs>